Space 1999 builders, we're going to take a look at some aftermarket parts from Cosmic Scale models just for you. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the 124th scale astronauts. This is set number three, and this is for Space 1999. The kit includes two figures and a decal sheet. Let's take a look. Inside the box comes this single sheet instruction, and that's so you know the placement of your decals front and back of the figure on his arms and also on the medical case. This is the decal sheet that comes along with the kit itself. It has the decals for the front of their chest, the back of their chest, for the medical shoulders, and also numbers one through zero, so you can choose whatever numbers you wanna put on them. Each decal sheet I'm gonna show you is a single decal sheet with a single film on it, so they're not cut out. You're gonna to have to cut as close as possible to these and then do your normal decal process. The set comes with two figures. One of the guys is in a slow walking position and you can see the other guy has his leg out. Both are 3D printed and they're both hollow prints. So they're lighter and I'll show you these guys up close. Here's the figure holding the medical suitcase. You can see the suitcase here. He's got his little gun over here. I forgot what you call it for space 1999. On the back, it has its little communication device over here and also the breathing apparatus. And here's what I was talking about that it's hollowed out. You can see by the holes. The figure is very light. You just gotta plug up these holes on the briefcase. You wouldn't really have to do them on the feet. The 3D cast on all of these is very clean. The uniform is nice, has really nice wrinkles inside the pants and the arms. The helmet came out really nice. There's really no support marks on here at all. Maybe one little one right there that you have to clean up. Otherwise, it's a very, very clean print on this guy. And here's the second figure. All the things I said for the first one go for this one. He has his gun, his communication device, a very nicely printed uniform with all the wrinkles so you can really bring out the details with a wash. Again, hollow print. These guys are super, super light. A couple little cleanup points on his hands. Otherwise, nothing at all from the supports of a 3D print. We have two different sets of the moon buggy and astronauts to show you. This one is in 148 scale. It comes with the moon buggy, five figures, and a decal sheet. We'll go over the instruction sheet first. It shows you both halves of the moon buggy, all six wheels, and also the brass rod that you'll have to cut down to size to put through the moon buggy to get those to stay. It has the instructions here on how to do that. On the inside is decal placement, and it tells you what to do with the decals, of course. And on the back, it shows you the levers, and you have two optional ways to do those levers. This is the first decal sheet. This is for the moon buggy. It has the striping down the sides, the dashboard, other instrument panels, and also numbering for the buggy itself, whichever one you want to number it. The second set of decals, this is for all the figures that come with it, the five figures. It runs numbers one through zero, so you can use whichever numbers you want on there. Also arm sleeve patches, and this is the decals for the front. I guess that's the breathing apparatus on the front. Again, these decals, you're going to have to cut really, really close because it's a single film over the whole sheet. This is what comes in the box. This is the 148 scale set. You have the two halves of the buggy. You have five people in different positions. One guy doing a slow walk. One guy has like a little communicator or a device to scan things. And he's just standing there, a slow walking guy and two people to ride in the buggy. And you also have six wheels which are left on their supports. So let's take a look at each piece. This is the bottom of the moon buggy, nothing special. Just a basic shape with holes so you could put your brass rod through there and put the wheels on. Cleanly cast as everything else. I'm sorry I keep saying cast. They're 3D printed. I'm so used to regular resin instead of 3D printing. But this is all 3D printed up. Done very nicely. This is the top half of the buggy. It does have a dashboard in there. It's very hard to see on camera, but you'll be able to put the decals in there and show off the panel itself. It has the seat. The seat has nice little detail in there and also this back compartment has some recessed detail inside there. These are the buggy halves put together. You'll make the whole buggy like this. Squeezing them together, you may have to do some filling for the gap there and down the sides. And if any of the resin is warped, it's like a regular resin kit where you could put it in some hot water, put something a little heavy on it on a flat surface, and this way you can flatten that out. But this just looks like you have a little bit of a gap issue that you would have to fill in. And this is the last piece for the buggy. It's six wheels. You can see it's got nice rims in there, has nice fat moon tires. Like I said, these are all on the support still. Usually on something like this, that's a thicker piece. You really don't have to worry about snapping them off. Just be careful because this type of resin does get brittle and you don't want to force it too much because you may end up making a big divot in there. Just take your time taking these off. The brass rod will go into the piece on the back of these wheels, go through to the other side, and then you just slap another wheel on there. 
Again, another clean 3D print. Next up, we'll take a look at the five figures. These are just like the 124 scale figure. I'll just go over it now that they are very cleanly 3D printed. There's really no support markings on them. So I'll show you the stances up close. Here's our little guy. It looks like he's doing some kind of surveillance. He has his little thing in his hand there, some kind of scanner. Again, the uniform, all cleanly done. You have the wrinkles in there, the apparatus for breathing. He has a little communicator on his side. And let me see if he's got a gun. I can't see a weapon on him, just a communication device. Otherwise, it's a very, very nice little figure to add to the 148 scale diorama. The next two figures are exactly the same as the 124 scale figure. This is the guy with the medical bag. So you'll put the decal over here for the medical stuff, whatever decal number you wanna put on the front and back of him. Communication device here, perfectly done uniform. So that looks really nice. No support markings that I can see, not even a small one. I'm trying to see if he has a weapon on him. I don't see any weapon on him either. And he's a nice stance, but he's exactly the same as the 124, just shrunk down to 148 scale. Next up is the slow walking guy and again he is the same exact guy as I showed you before in 124 shrunk down to 148 same uniform same things on his uniform on the back with the communicator breathing apparatus just really shrunk down very clean I'm going to keep saying that because they are there's really no support marks on any of these these guys are solid prints there's no holes on the bottom because they're so small so they're done solid now the last two guys we have are the driver and the passenger this guy's the driver he's got his little hands there to put onto the joysticks or whatever you may call them he has one little support on his knee which is easily taken away he has all the same things on him communicator breathing apparatus helmet just a little bit harder to see in this scale he's just a tiny tiny little bugger but well worth it if you're into space 1999 and last but not least is his passenger over here same uniform same everything i know i'm repeating myself a lot but because they are from the series and they're outside they're all going to have that same uniform and you could just number them up differently so you can see who's who in your diorama and last but not least is our 172nd scale set of figures and moon buggies. It comes with 10 figures, two moon buggies, and a decal sheet. I'm gonna open these up and show you what's inside. First, we'll start with the instructions. The wheels don't come separate on this one. They're all together on the bottom, so you're just gonna put the top half together. All of the little figures in 172nd scale come on the supports, so you're gonna have to take those off carefully. It's exactly the same as the other one, showing you painting and decal placement, and there's nothing on the back of this one. These decals are the same exact thing as the 148 scale, except shrunk down to 172nd scale except the only difference is there's two sets because you have two moon buggies. And the same goes for these decals. They're in 172nd, exactly the same as the last one. The thing I want to stress the most is it's a single film and make sure you cut those really close because they are not separate on the sheet. I'm only going to take out one moon buggy and one set of figures, and that's because they are identical. The other set is these, and the other moon buggy is this. So let's take a look at the moon buggy. Here's our cool little 172nd scale moon buggy. It has the six wheels on. This one is hollowed out. That's what those holes are for, so you could just fill those in with a little putty, bondo, whatever you use. Then you have the detail on the front there it looks like little headlights doesn't look like there's little handles in here for the driver because it's so small but it does have the same detail in the back and like i said you get two of these guys there's really not much to go over on this set this is the same exact thing shrunk down from 148 scale the two guys from the 124 scale set are here in the back then you have the one from the 148 scale holding the scanner and you have your driver and your passenger over here these are all printed solid because they're so small the only difference is these were left on the supports, so you have to carefully snip these supports off. Now, if you've never worked with 3D resin, this does get brittle, and if you force it or snap too much, or in the, I would say the wrong spot, you may end up chipping something. So use a sharp X-Acto knife or a very good pair of clippers and gently clip these off, and they should come right off for you with no problems. I've already taken the label off to make it easier to get into the package. The next thing we're gonna look at are cargo boxes in 148 scale for Space 1999. Inside the package comes this nice decal sheet, plenty of numbers, plenty of things to put on the cargo boxes. This is the only decal sheet that tells you this is a full film over them. So uh, I don't know why the other ones don't, but this one does actually tell you. Very nice colors on here, so these are pretty cool. And here we have an assortment of cargo boxes for Space 1999. You have three of them that are closed like this. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. It's a little hard to see on camera because of how bright white they are. They're hollow, they're very light, and this is the closed case. And then this is similar to the first box I showed you. They're very thin and fragile. There's four of these pieces. So I'm assuming it may be the boxes you could put them open, put some stuff in there, 
or broken in half and just strewn about the diorama base. This one is going to be very difficult to see. Like I said, it's white. There is detail on there for this cargo box. Four of them come in this package. They're small. I'm not sure where they go because I don't remember these from the series, but they are extra detail for your diorama. These are six flat cargo boxes. They do have a little handle in the middle. You are never going to see these on camera. If you do, I'd be shocked. And it also has a little loop at the corner. That looks like a grab handle to carry them. So you have six of these to place wherever you want on the ship, on the ground, wherever it may be. These are all, again, cleanly done 3D printed pieces. This is the only one left on the supports, so you just have to cut those off and you'll be good to go. And last but not least is our 172nd scale cargo boxes. Again, comes on the little piece here, but this one shows you all the pieces that come on it. Let me give you a closer look. This will be easier than showing you the white pieces, but I still will show you the white pieces. It has eight of these cubes here. They're all closed, and then you have four boxes, four more boxes and for these very small boxes. So let me show you the 3D print. I'm only gonna show you one runner because there comes four runners in the package and they all have the same thing on them. Let us not forget the same decals come shrunk down to 172nd scale. So you have a whole bunch of decals to place on these boxes to give it that authentic look. I'm sorry, this isn't the greatest look for these. Again, it's just because they're in white and it's so hard to see. On each runner, you'll get one of the flat ones, a medium sized box, a larger box, and two of these cubes. These cubes are exactly the same as the 148 scale. So is this one. These two weren't in the 148 scales, so you'll have a little bit of a different type of box. This way you can add those into the diorama as well. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out another video on Cosmic Scale Models Aftermarket Parts. These were for the Space 1999 model kits, and they're very cool, very highly detailed, very nice 3D prints. So if you're interested in these, please go to CosmicScaleModels.com. There'll be a link in the description below, but just remember they're over in the UK. So if you're in the U.S., you're going to have a high shipping charge. Unfortunately, that's how it is these days, even for us trying to ship over to the U.K. Again, thanks for coming, stopping by. If you like this content or you like the videos, please throw a big thumbs up on it because it helps spread it to other modelers on YouTube. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer to 4,000, and I promise you, when we hit 4,000, we'll have a subscriber giveaway right here on the channel. So thanks again, everybody, for stopping by and checking out the videos. We really appreciate it. We hope you're all safe out there and taking care of yourselves. We'll see you all soon. Take care and bye-bye, everybody.